So Mile High generally does not see anything like six foot social distancing on Sundays unless it's late in a losing season and the no-show fans want to make a point to the ownership. Marshall Zellinger, though, shows us the stadium upgrade for this coming season designed to make it safer to return and watch football. We still don't know if Broncos fans will get to go beyond the new signs outside Mile High. If fans are allowed inside, the stadium management company announced new ways they'll be sanitizing shared areas. A UVC light underneath the escalators, which will, which will help to reduce or eliminate uh, bacterias or viruses that would be on the handrail. The stadium will install these UVC handrail sanitizers, $270,000 worth for 15 escalators. Last month, Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Renew showed us a Breckenridge condo using UVC light to sanitize rooms. But does this really work? I've been studying UV disinfection for about 20 years. I think it's very realistic that these UV LED lamps that are germicidal can be effective for inactivating microorganisms such as viruses on handrails. For you science and engineering folks, CU professor Dr. Carl Linden said we need 250 to 280 nanometers to disinfect. For us non-science and engineering folks, the UVC light needs to be intense enough over a specific period of time, even one or two seconds, to disinfect the same handrail touched by someone who just coughed into their hand. If I knew the system was tested and was delivering the right dose of UV light, I certainly would not be afraid to put my hand in that same spot. The stadium will also try out an $800,000 sanitizing method that you can't even see. We talked with engineers and specialists about bipolar ionization in our HVAC system. Uh, let's go to see you again. We're talking about people in one room exhaling those infectious particles going through the ventilation system into another room or locale where other people are. Bipolar ionization helps keep any bad particles from getting out of the ventilation system or makes the particles go away quickly. The idea is to treat the air when it's in the duct to either remove those particles or render, if it's a virus, those particles um, from infecting somebody else. I got thinking if the Broncos are going to do this at the stadium, why don't I see this at DIA or at the malls? I reached out to DIA. A spokeswoman tells me they haven't seen the cost benefit. There's the cost we talked about in that story. Uh, Park Meadows tells me they're instead going with enhanced cleaning in person and deep cleaning when the mall is closed. Cherry Creek, Kyle, did not get back to me. Uh, more importantly, Marshall, have you asked our boss if she's willing to install a gigantic UV light over the desk pod that the two of us share? I, I think that'll be part of my next review. I'll put that at the top of the list. Yeah, as, as if the two of us are not ridiculously tan enough from you running all the time and me doing yard work. Yeah, that's right. Put us under a tanning bed light. All right. Thank you, Marshall.